If your hands are not busy, help me welcome. All the way from Obodo Ibo. I know some of us, we've not gone there before. Me, self, I never go, so no worry. So all the way from Obodo Ibo, even if you don't understand what he's going to say. I did not understand the first time. I was just holding pen and paper anyhow. A round of applause for Mr. Bob, please. Sorry, I didn't know that I had to say something actually today. So I'm the first one probably. <laughs> but that's, uh, I am uh, I'm more times an example as you can see here. Uh, I think I'm the only one from Europe, as you can see. Um, it's a long time ago that I'm speaking to such a big audience. I'm very honored to be here. Very happy that Tony invited us to be a sponsor in this event. I met Tony a few weeks ago and it was quite, quite an amazing thing. We were looking at Nigeria. We just opened an office in Lagos, Leaky Lagos. So we were very happy. Um, a few of my friends um, started a foundation a few years ago in Uganda, and it went a little bit out of hand. Um, we started doing microfinancing and microloaning to people that don't have any chance on a loan. Uh, so we started supplying jobs for them. Uh, we didn't want to give them bread, because in Africa, I always make the joke, it's very simple. Charity 1.0 doesn't work for us. If you give a bread to somebody in a poor nation, the next day they come again and they hold their hand and say, can I have another one? The day after, they say, hey, my friend, you're a little bit late with the bread today. And the third day, if you come, they say, can I also have an orange juice with it? That's charity 1.0, just giving it away. So we said we need to do something different. We started doing microfinancing, and the microfinancing went way out of hand. We're um, giving cows and sheep and chickens. We financed everything, and we did 170,000 loans in areas where nobody ever gives a loan to someone. And that was... For us, a good thing, but at the end of the day, my friend kept calling me and said, Bob, we need more money. And then we found out that the economy in Africa, which is, for me, when you study it, it's the most great continent at the moment to be, uh, to do business, to do economy. The, the people are, are willing to work. There are chances here endlessly in this, in this continent. Um, I, I believe it's going to be the strongest continent in the next three decades, because in Africa, there's everything. Um, and I think now the time has come that you see there are a lot of educated Africans and the Europeans has left here ages ago. The Chinese are now leaving and now it's the matter of the responsibility of the Africans to take their own, their own destination. And that's possible with cryptocurrency. This is a new chance for all the Africans. So what we did when we saw all the chances coming up here, we said we need to do it differently. So we were doing, giving motorcycles away and it's called Boda Boda. And everybody always thinks that the Bob motorcycle comes from my name. But the stupid thing was it was called Boda Boda. And we made them orange because we come from Holland. So it became the orange Bodas. And then we had to give them a blue seat. And we said that's the, that's the blue orange Boda. So it became the Bob. And my friend said to me for fun, you are our Kentucky Fried Chicken. You're the guy from Kentucky Fried Chicken, but you're the Bob. So we thought it was a joke. And a few months later, they decided to make, make it a coin. Why to make it a coin? Because we wanted to have the shareholders in our company. And every coin holder is a shareholder in our company. So they will get, at the end of the day, get a profit from the company that we actually built. And that's how we, we changed the world, um, making and showing that a coin can also be a share. And that's what we started selling coins uh, to finance our company. And it went a little bit out of hand because yesterday morning we found out that we have shareholders, coin holders, in 136 countries. Uh, we're having 125,000 people at the moment financing our company. And actually, those 125,000 shareholders are making it a better Africa. They're creating jobs. Why? That makes us able, we have our own production plans, to give them, them electrical motorcycles, not polluting motorcycles, because that's what one of our goals was to give everybody a motorcycle and make them mobile like they did in the Far East already 40 years ago. Uh, and we want everybody on an electric motorcycle and get the pollution out of Africa, but also give them a job at the same time so they can make a living. We're the first company that provides electric motorcycles, but also said we're making pan-African pan deals with uh, companies, insurance companies, that the drivers, the passengers and their families are having medical insurance because we think it's important that at the moment has come to bring Africa to the next level. And we would like to contribute with that as Bob Eco. Um, we do that with selling our motorcycles to people that don't get loans themselves. 
um, that's being financed by our shareholders. The shareholders are the coin holders. Our coin is now for sale in a lot of exchanges already. Um, so we're growing and growing slowly. But it's, it's another thing that is a proof that the discussion of yesterday and today is a very good discussion, that crypto is not only about trading coins. It's also about um, extra contributions that crypto can bring to Africa. Um, that it gives a lot of chances, not only to the people that actually trade it, but also the other blockchain chances that's being told a lot today. Um, unfortunately, uh, it also has downsides, but that's with everything that's, that's good that brings downsides. Uh, a lot of people are not educated enough. Uh, that's why we also say, guys, before you do in crypto, get yourself educated. There are enough people today that talk about education, I think, that's been bothered enough to you. Um, I think it's very important that people realize that crypto is not only about trading coins, but it also can bring a better life and a better future for a lot of people, directly and with us, indirectly. Um, yeah, more there's nothing to say. I can say thank you to Tony giving us the podium today again to show our Bobcoin, to bring our motorcycles here. Uh, we're very happy to start in Nigeria. We have our offices here, and I hope in the near future you will see uh, electric vehicles all over Nigeria, and it's all being financed by the coins. That was, that was it. I'll get back to you.